Good morning, YouTubers. I just wanted to do a real quick video on my uh, 2016 Golf Sport Wagon. I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, we would call this maybe the 30,000 mile um, update or review. Um, again, it's a 2016 Golf Sport Wagon uh, Limited. Uh, this was a six-month production in 2016. I'm not sure how many models or how many numbers were sold, but um, basically it's a sport wagon uh, equipped with uh, some uh, SE Golf wheels and uh, some SEL premium trim and equipment like a panoramic sunroof. Um, you get the leatherette seats that are heated, um, of course push button start, you get adaptive cruise, um, you get a rear view camera with uh, the traffic alerts, um, also you get blind spot monitoring here in the mirror, and you get uh, forward collision mitigation, that's what that little boxes down there that's for your adaptive cruise and your Ford um, crash assist or whatever it's been a good car um, got a few little scuffs here um, that one could probably rub out if that can even be seen that's where the wife ran it into the garage uh, door um, I did that to the wheel very happy about that um, but other than that, as far as damage to the car, it has, you know, um, I've dodged any major door dings, um, picked up a few little scratches, you know, along the rear bumper that's typical of a station wagon. I use it for hauling uh, boxes and cargo and stuff for work a lot, so the back gets a lot of use. And I'm pretty much the only person that ever rides in this car. Uh, so I just leave the back seats down. That way I've got plenty of room at all times. You release the seats here. That's really handy. Uh, and of course it's got this little cargo cover if I ever need to use it. But um, yeah, so far so good. Um, complaints are few and far between. Let me first say this. These Continental Connie, let's see, what are these? Continental Pro Contact. These tires have been great tires. I mean, got 28,360 miles on them and they look like they're maybe 50% worn. Um, I do have a leaky rear tire uh, that I have yet to find a nail or a screw in. Um, so I need to get that investigated further. I've replaced the key fob battery two times already and they keep going dead. So that's a complaint is the battery life on the key fob. Interior shows pretty well. I mean, you've got typical smudges and you know, I stuff all these pockets are huge for stuffing your junk and trash in. Keeping a black car is not always the easiest to do, but you know, I I use this thing, so um, I keep it as clean as I can. Um, Interior-wise, it's held up pretty well, except for um, some trim right down here. Um, let me um, start it, pull that back, if you can see that. The aluminum trim is peeling off right here and it is razor sharp right here on the edge. And I've actually, the first time I discovered it, I was reaching in here to get something or unplug the USB and I sliced my hand open. So um, yeah, it. Um, this is a little, little dangerous. Uh, I need to, next time I go into Volkswagen, I wanna get them to replace that under the warranty. Um, but other than that, uh, the leaky tire and the batteries, uh, going dead on the key fob. It's been a pretty reliable car um, 28,360 um, Volkswagen recommends servicing your car every 10,000 miles 
so 10 20 and 30 uh i've i've had this one serviced three times and it's i want to it's due for the fourth i am servicing it a few thousand miles early just because i think ten thousand miles is a little too far to go um i work in the turbocharging industry and we deal with remanufacturing and rebuilding turbos so i know the importance of keeping a turbo well lubricated so i know synthetic oils are great and everything but still i just uh think 10,000 miles is just a little too long just my honest opinion but anyway let's do a um do a start up here cranks up rear loss right rear right tire rear right tire oh, okay so it's on the passenger side huh, i forgot what side it was on let's look under the hood the little 1.8 TSI engine has been a great little motor. Um, 170 horsepower, 199 pound-feet of torque. Starting to get a little dirty under here. I need to hit it with the pressure washer, clean it off some. But it has just been a great little engine. Never missed a beat, doesn't use any oil. You know, it's very peppy, smooth and strong. So, been a good little motor. I like it. Now that the car's good and broken in and almost two years old, I'm, I'm actually a little bit interested in an APR stage one tune. So, if anybody has any thoughts on that, comment below. Let's take a little quick drive, put the windows up because it is starting to get warm. It says it's 82 degrees, but, and we've got us a nice partly cloudy day, but I'm sure it's gonna warm up and get hot. I'm gonna drop this into sport by just bumping there. Just get a little sportier shift on the, uh, that's the six speed um, conventional automatic transmission. It is not the DSG. Um, and it shifts pretty good. It shifts are quick. Um, the paddle shifters work great. They're very responsive. If you want to quickly downshift or upshift, um, I've been really pleased with the uh, transmission. Um, occasionally, I get a little clunking uh, in stop and go traffic, like it almost wants to get hung up between the first, the one-two shift, first and second, but. Um, yeah, that's just occasionally. Uh, overall, it's a you know it's a great gearbox. I'm gonna stop right here. This is my favorite little stretch. Nobody is behind me. I'm gonna stop right here, and we are going to do a little zero to sixty. It's just in sport mode. The air conditioning's on. Ah, a little wheel spin, baby. just to the floor all right so yeah she gets up and goes pretty well for uh 170 horsepower um no complaints there but um anyway just wanted to shoot this quick little update 30,000 miles 16 volkswagen golf sport wagon uh tsi gas not diesel um uh, 